Okay, turn it on. I finally watched every episode of Friday Night Weekly, and I gotta say, looking back in retrospect, that was, uh, on my part, I think, uh, expecting too much, really, out of, out of everybody involved. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, what was I thinking with Matt? Matt Henry? I mean, that guy is just not fit to host a news program. I mean, he's, he's unfit, really, just in general. And Ruben, that bastard. Why? Why didn't, I, why didn't I just fire that guy? Or why was he even hired to begin with? The bastard and, and Mackenzie. What a complete and utter nightmare. And Matt Mast, I just... Why was that the main guest on the show? Why? Why? <laughs> why? I think I'm going to stop drinking and meth. I need to stop smoking meth. I'm done with that. Yeah. Not gonna stop smoking weed. Um, well, what about me and Scooney? Who? The PAs. I don't remember those characters. No, I mean me, Joseph. Me. Oh yeah, you're you're fine. You were fine. I mean, I know I messed up a lot, but yeah, you did. You sucked. You just said I was fine. Yeah, you're fine. Whatever. I didn't care about you and Scoopsy. I <sighs> should have just listened to Uncle Glenn, the voice of reason. Could have just dumped the show off on him and Ruben. Let them pilot the plane into the side of a frickin' mountain. <sighs> well, the show wasn't a total bust. Tell me one thing about it that wasn't completely stupid or fucked up or ass in it. Well, hmm. Rogue Pope Roundup. Hello? You mean the thing where I put a cowboy hat on the Pope? Uh, yeah, that one. You explain stuff really well. In a funny, but creative way. And it didn't involve Matt or Reuben, really, so that made it better. I know. Why don't you become a priest? If you've had such bad luck with women, maybe you're destined to become celibate and administer God's word in a fun, yet creative way. Nah, fuck that. I don't want to go to a monastery. You don't have to. You can get ordained online for a small one-time fee. No kidding. Yeah, uh, Conan O'Brien, Kathy Griffin, uh, Rob Durdick, they're all doing it. Yeah, sure enough. And hey, look, Brian Cranston and Johnny Carson. Wow. Yeah, those guys too. Yeah, why, why, did you, why didn't you tell me them? Why did you start with Kathy Griffin and Rob Durdick? Well, they're more popular and iconic. No, they're, they're not. Okay, great. I've almost got this all filled out. Uh, oh, shoot. Don't have my credit card on me, though. Uh, don't you have your number memorized? No. But I think I know somebody who does. What's the matter with you? Are you an idiot? An imbecile? A moron? <laughs> what are you laughing Scooney! at? Scooney! I'm in there someplace. Come on. Get Scooney! Sorry, I'm sorry, Matt. <laughs> Offices of Matt Henry, this is Scooney speaking. How can I direct your call? It's Joseph. Let me talk to Matt. Oh, it's you. I didn't quite hear you right now. It's Joseph. I'm listening. Hey, Matt. So you kept one of the PAs as a personal slave, too. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. But I think you got the better one. Well, look here, I'm uh, trying to get uh, ordained as a minister online, and I need my credit card number. I don't have it on me. I know you stole a lot of my personal information. Do you happen to have it on hand? Oh, yeah, sure. You got a pen? Yeah. All right, it's 467-391-4862-7494. Uh, Expiration is 1016, and that four-digit code is 427. You need anything else? Huh? You need your home address, your blood type? No match, that will be fine for now.